Hello and welcome to the Big Sports Show. You're tuned in to YouTube's best Big Ten parody channel. I'm Chip Donaghy and this is the Big Sports Show. We've got a great and totally real show for you today. We'll have our super fan four pack duke it out over what all happened last week in the games and we'll talk to Jim Harbaugh just as soon as he gets that restraining order thing figured out. And we will discuss with drunk Penn State fans just exactly why their team isn't getting it done this year. <laughs> All right, over to our favorite segment, the Superfan 4-Pack. Uh, welcome Michigan State, Michigan, Ohio State, and Purdue. Thanks, yeah, happy Thanks, to be Chip. here. Chip, thanks for having us. I Thanks, think you Chip. mean We're happy to be here. the Ohio State University, Chip. And you're muted. <laughs> now, Michigan State, it was a tough one for you this week. How you doing? Thanks, Chip, and thank you for asking. It's, it, it's been a tough year this year. Two years ago, we were 72 conference play. And now I... <laughs> and well, now Sparty, we're... <laughs> at least you have basketball. How's that going for you this year? Now, now, nobody cares about basketball this early in the season. All right. Now, back to Michigan State's massive loss. Yes. Well, now we're getting demolished 38-3. to I mean, okay. No one can hear you, suck eyes. Big Ten East second place losers for you. <laughs> Good stuff. Now moving on from the best and the worst of the Big Ten Conference, we're going to go to the downright mediocre. Let's talk about the Big Ten West Division. And here is our second four-pack from the Big Ten West Division. I have Iowa, Nebraska, Wisconsin, and it looks like Michigan is refusing to leave, so we'll have Michigan in here too. Now, there's been accusations that the Big Ten West is actively trying to avoid the Big Ten championship game and throwing some games recently, uh, and it's really been hard to dispute. Nas Nebraska, are teams trying to tank this chip? <laughs> well, now that is an offensive question. Okay, sure, sure, we have made some mistakes on offense all year long. Defense is playing great, go black shirts. But, I mean, yeah, the offense is doing okay. Sure, we put in Jeff Sims over and over again, even though he's thrown an interception in every single game he's played, multiple in almost every one of them. But, all of our quarterbacks threw interceptions. We put three in last week, and they all threw interceptions. We had five out of three quarterbacks. It's just how football is played. We're very disappointed that we really have no chance of going to the Big Ten Championship game this year. Liar! Did you just meme me? That? Coming from a team that just lost to Northwestern? How f dare you? You f sh You're a piece of sh I can't stand you, Nebraska. You suck, you always have. I can't stand you, you Sons of bitches, I hate you. Anyway, we were devastated by that loss. Ah! Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Northwestern yeah. break their long running, longest yeah. streak in the nation, losing record on the road against you because you want to put up with this. <laughs> I hope the Buckeyes beat your <laughs> face in Michigan. You <laughs> suck. I can't stand you, Michigan. Ann Arbor is a piece of <laughs> It deserves to go hell. And you all in Ann Arbor need to die. Well, that's it for our Super Fan 4 pack this week. And uh, just a quick reminder, the Big Sports Show is the only independent sports parody sports show dedicated to the Big Ten. Important work, my friend. And if you want to support us, consider liking this video, subscribing to this channel, and hitting that notification bell. 
Now, on to what's going on next week in the Big in the Big Ten. With each team only having two games left in the regular season, time is running out in that race to relevance. The heavyweight bout is scheduled for September 25th in Ann Arbor as the Buckeyes invade to take on the Wolverines. This game will necessarily determine the final winner of the Big Ten East and most think the winner of the Big Ten Conference and automatically propels them into the college football playoffs and a high seed is very likely there. Meanwhile, these last two games are very important to some teams still vying for that spot in the postseason. While the East Fates are determined, the West Division is in a five-way race to bold game destinations. Iowa and Purdue know their fates, but five teams in the West are 5-5 five and five and one game short of that bowl-eligible badge. The path is easily stated and tricky to follow. Win one more game. Either Nebraska or Wisconsin will absolutely check that box this weekend as they face off in Camp Randall on Saturday. Minnesota should just look ahead to the final week as they travel to the Horseshoe to take on Ohio State. Northwestern has a probable path as they host Purdue on Saturday and then travel to, follow, then travel to fellow mediocre Illinois the ri for rivalry week. Illinois needs to beat either Iowa this week or Northwestern next. Let's take a look at Saturday's matchups in the Big Ten. Uh, looks like Michigan is going to be traveling to Maryland and uh, is favored by 19 points. And I think if I were a betting man, which I am not, I would take Michigan in that game. Michigan State heads to Indiana. Indiana's a four and a half point favorite at home, and I think Indiana's going to take care of business here and get that game done. Uh, shouldn't be too big of a challenge for them. Purdue at Northwestern. This is a big one for Northwestern. A must win to get to that bull eligibility. I mean, who even remembers Pat Fitzgerald being fired at the beginning of the season in Northwestern in absolute turmoil? And now they're five and five and he might be heading to a bowl game. If they can beat Purdue this week or Illinois next. And good on you, Northwestern. Let's get that done. Let's get to a bowl game and show those people who fired your coach what for. Rutgers at Penn State. Uh, shouldn't be too much of a big deal here. Penn State's favored by 20 and a half. And I think they're absolutely going to cover that. Penn State still looking for that relevance Probably does not have a path into the college football playoffs this year, but still looking for that relevant goal, bowl game that they will eventually end up with. Illinois at number 22, Iowa. Iowa is favored by four, and I think they'll probably win four to zero. Uh, Iowa's defense has been huge all season, making their wins. Iowa's offense has been non existent. Minnesota at Ohio State, let's give it up. Uh, Ohio State's favored by 27.5. I, Minnesota just, like, take a cocktail this week. I mean, just drink. Who cares? Just go play the game. Have fun. Uh, you're going to get clobbered by Ohio State. It doesn't matter. Your final week game mat does matter. Now, uh, Nebraska at Wisconsin, this one is for bowl eligible eligibility the winner does go on to the postseason and uh nebraska is really needing this one wisconsin really needs this one uh they both have tough games and rivalry weeks so we will see what happens in this one and i'm really anxious to see wisconsin is favored by six points in this game so it seems to be leaning their way all righty and that is all we have for this week, and we'll see you next week. And always remember, we don't have a tagline. <laughs>